Three of your questions, okay? I haven't committed any crime, and I know that I haven't committed any crime. Yeah. Well, you don't know. You ha where are you getting that from? I oh, know it's terrible. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a, what you're doing is evil. It's, it's communist. It's evil, and, and it's sad that you have to do this. They arrest me. You're a PSO. You're not a police officer. You can only detain. Where do you where do you get the powers from? Well, where you are. You've come up to me. Okay, so please pro please provide the evidence. Where you get your power from? Just just provide the evidence where you get the power from because you've made you you've actually made the the claim that I'm committing an offence and I and I, I don't believe that I am so provide the evidence I'm committing an offence. I told you I had an exemption but I don't have to speak to you. Okay. No, no, I don't have to. Speak. It's of a private nature. I've told you that. I know it's it's ridiculous. Well, if you arrest me, it'll be a false arrest. And um, you know, and I'll, I'll be taking you for deprivation of liberty. Can I please have your um, per personal information? Yeah, I just want your um, just your, your VP number. Okay, let's get that name so everyone can see. Well, you came to me. I didn't come to you. You came to me. You tell me not to come close. The harassment squad. I don't have to speak to you. They say I've committed an offence, and you can't prove that I've committed an offence. Which offence have I committed? Well, I've asked you. I've asked you. What, oh, I'm under arrest. Okay. Thank you kindly. Um, you know, that's that's deprivation of liberty. We're going to place you under arrest until we can confirm who you are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can tell you who I am. No, but we need to confirm you. You don't have to hold me. You don't have to hold me. I, I will tell you. I'm not being. I'm not. This is what the evil people do. Well, what just happened was uh, another anti-masker in Melbourne got arrested for refusing to wear masks and calling security officers commies and evil. Well, this is a guy named Mr. Patterson, or well, otherwise known as Mick Patterson. So yeah, he's one of these latest people who just don't believe um, um the wearing masks will make any difference, and um, it is a attack on personal liberties and also other human rights, regardless of what the Victorian Premier and Daniel Andrew have to say about it. So yeah, they're just one of those people who just don't like the new restrictions in Melbourne. That's all I have to say. Have a good day.